This is Lesson 6-3, Proving a Quadrilateral is a Parallelogram. So yesterday we discussed the properties of a parallelogram, but now I actually want to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if its sides, angles, and diagonals have certain properties. To prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, you must prove one of the following. So if we look at the picture here, let's see if we can figure out what we need to prove. You see the top line is parallel to the bottom line and the left line is parallel to the right line. So one of the ways that I can prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is if I can prove both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so the first way is if I could prove both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other, then it's a parallelogram. And that's the definition of a parallelogram, so that one makes sense. The second way, let's look at the picture, and we see in this one, the top line is congruent to the bottom line and the left line is congruent to the right line. So if I can prove both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, that's also another way to prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent and I can prove that, then I know that it is a parallelogram. Okay, the third way. I'm looking at this picture. I see the top line is congruent to the bottom line and the top line is parallel to the bottom line and I do not know anything about the left and the right side. So basically if the top line, or it doesn't have to be the top and bottom, it could have been the left and the right, but if one pair of opposite sides are both congruent and parallel. So another way to prove a parallelogram is if you have one pair of opposite sides are both congruent and parallel to each other. Okay, the fourth way, looking at the picture, now I'm talking about the angles. These angles are congruent and these angles are congruent. Those, remember, are called opposite angles. So if you have both pairs of opposite angles congruent, then it's a parallelogram. Again, these are similar to the properties that we learned yesterday, so it's not like it's brand new information to learn. So if I have both pairs of opposite sides, opposite angles congruent, then it's also a parallelogram. Here I'm showing that those consecutive angles are supplementary. So if an angle is supplementary to both of its consecutive angles, so look, I'm showing that 105 is supplementary to this top angle, 75, and it's also supplementary to this left angle, 75. So if an angle is supplementary to both of its consecutive angles, then it's a parallelogram. Okay, and the last way has to do with the diagonals. Remember we learned in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other? So if I can show that the diagonals bisect each other, then it's a parallelogram. Okay, so these are very, very similar to yesterday's um, properties. The only one different is number three and that's if you can show that one pair of opposite sides are congruent and parallel, that's enough information. But otherwise, they're the same properties we did yesterday. Both pairs of opposite sides parallel, it's a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides congruent, it's a parallelogram. One pair of opposite sides congruent and parallel, it's a parallelogram. If I have both pairs of opposite angles congruent, it's a parallelogram. If an angle is supplementary to both of its consecutive angles, remember consecutive angles are the angles that are next to each other. Or the final way is if the diagonals bisect each other. Now you don't have this proof in your notes, so you're just going to um, look at it and follow along. But this is a proof of the theorem, the last one, that if the diagonals bisect each other, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So I'm going to start by knowing that they bisect each other. The diagonals AC and BD bisect each other. And then I'm going to prove it's a parallelogram by proving um, congruent triangles are, the triangles are congruent, and then I'm going to use CPCTC. So I'm starting with the fact that AC and BD bisect each other at E. If they bisect each other, then these diagonals are congruent. AE is congruent to CE. BE is congruent to DE. That's definition of segment bisector. I also have my vertical angles. AEB and CED, so the left one and the right one, and over here I have BEC and DEA, which is the top and the bottom. Together, I'm proving the triangles are congruent, so I'm proving AEB, triangle AEB on the left, and triangle CED on the right are congruent by side angle side. 
because I have the diagonals and I have the vertical angles. And I also have the top triangle BEC and the bottom triangle AED are congruent by also by side angle side. Now if that's true, their corresponding parts are congruent. So I have angle BAE and DCE and ECB and EAD. And those angles happen to be alternate interior angles, thereby making AB parallel to CD and BC parallel to AD. So the triangles are congruent by side angle side. The angles are congruent by CPCTC. The, since those alternate interior angles are congruent, the lines opposite sides are parallel. And therefore, ABCD is a parallelogram because that's our definition of parallelogram if opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so that, again, that wasn't in your notes. That was just for you to see how it actually works. Now let's try these two problems down here. Let's decide whether a quadrilateral is a parallelogram or not. So the first problem I know that AB is congruent to CD, so I have one pair of opposite sides congruent. But remember, that's not enough. I either need to have both pairs of opposite sides congruent or one pair of opposite sides congruent and parallel. Now I don't know anything about AD and BC, but I do know that these angles are supplementary. If they're supplementary, what, is, what do you know about AB and DC besides being congruent? If these two angles, these same side interior angles are supplementary, then that means AB and CD have to be parallel. So if AB and CD are congruent and they're parallel, that makes ABCD a parallelogram. Okay, so you're going to write yes, and you're going to write the reason why, which we just said. Those opposite sides, A, B, and C, D, are congruent from the given, and they're also parallel because same side interior angles are congruent to each other. So please write down yes and the reason why. Then we'll look at this one. I know that H, I is congruent to H, K, and J, I is congruent to K, J. So if one of those six reasons up above is true. Do I have both pairs of opposite sides congruent? No, because these aren't opposite sides. And I don't know anything about angles. I don't know anything about sides being parallel. So HIJK is a parallelogram is actually not going to be true. You do not know that it is a parallelogram from the given information. Okay, and that's it for today.